Welcome back to my channel guys, my name is James. Today we have another quick and easy salad for you guys to make. I'm going to be making a Mediterranean couscous type salad and couscous is very easy to work with so I'm going to be giving you the base recipe today and if you want to add or take out any ingredients or add other types of garnish feel free to do so as you see fit. It goes great with chicken, great with feta cheese as well and hopefully and I think you're going to like this today. So before we get going, be sure to check out the rest of my videos that I have up on my YouTube channel, all my recipes. I have some travel videos coming pretty soon as well. Be sure to like the video down below and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's get started. So to get started, we're going to take the couscous and whenever you using couscous, you want to remember it's basically a one to one ratio between the couscous and water or hot water. So we're going to use about 60 grams per person. This is again about the ratio you want to use. And then again, 60 milliliters more or less of hot water. You can easily get the kettle on, put it on boil. It's very quick and easy. We're going to put the couscous after we measure it out into a separate bowl. We're going to add the hot water to it and then just put a plate on top. And while that is rehydrating, we're going to set that aside and burn was some red onions. You can substitute, you don't have to use them if you don't want to, but they go very well in salads. Then after we burn was the red onions, we're going to dice and burn was some peppers. So as you can tell, there's a membrane on bell peppers, this white piece and then this as well and we want to try to take that off. First, one way to do it is by taking the side of the pepper that you have, just like this. We're going to flatten it a little bit. I'm going to take my knife in my hand. I'm going to push down with the blade on this end and my hand here. This is, you have to be very careful. You can easily cut yourself if you're not good with a knife. And then you're just gonna slowly cut towards you, like I said, very carefully, spin it around and do it again. You don't have to get all of it if you don't want, it's not that important, but it's just one thing that you can improve on your salads. Now I'm going to be using three types of peppers for the salad. I'm basically going to use one. I'm just going to use a little bit of each just for some color and to give the salad more color. We're going to burn wasis. After that, we're going to take our raisins. We're going to rehydrate them with a little warm water, set them aside. Then we're going to take our garbanzos. Now, garbanzo beans you can cook if you want to at home, or you can just buy them pre-made. It's very easy. It's actually easier to buy them pre-cooked than it is to cook them yourself because they take, trust me, a long time to cook. A very long time. And to make a salad that'll take less than 10, 15 minutes to make, it's not worth the wait. It's not worth the time waiting to, for the garbanzos to cook. Then we're going to take our mint and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to julienne the mint or slice the mint up, and we're going to then mix the salad. Super, super easy and quick. We already have a bit of our onions, our peppers done. We're going to add the couscous in. Add all of it. We're going to add our garbanzos. Then we're going to add our raisins. Be sure to drain off all the excess water. We're going to add a bit of olive oil. We're going to add a bit of lemon juice as well. And be sure to take the seeds out. A bit of salt and a splash of vinagre de Jerez. Just a little bit. Now we're going to mix. We're going to add our mint as well. Mix again. It's a very colorful salad. So this is great for parties or get togethers. It's very easy to make as well and cheap. So now we're going to taste and adjust as you see fit. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Like I said earlier, you can substitute anything you want for it. You can add chicken to it, even a bit of feta cheese, whatever you want add it. It's very easy. Olives go well with it as well. And like I said, basil as well. Basil goes very well with salads too. So be sure to check out the rest of my videos and recipes that I have on my YouTube channel. I have made quite a bit by now and I'm sure that you'll find something else that you'll like. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video down below and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Take care.